Hey, what's going on guys? Seth here again at Reynolds Outdoors. And on the counter today, I have the uh, Browning Maxis Wicked Wing and the Mossy Oak Bottomland Camo Pattern. Um, these are very hard to get. We just got one in today. We've been out for a while. I'm out of the uh, A5s in Bottomland, which I did a video on. Um, but I don't think that one was Bottomland either because that it took us forever to get those guns in and they didn't sit on the shelf long. So I figured I might as well do one quick while I got one in stock before this thing flies out the door. But um, big thing about the Maxis, the biggest difference is obviously it doesn't have the humpback like the uh, the A5s do. But uh, this is and also it's a gas operated shotgun whereas the A5 utilizes the uh, kinetic drive system or it's a recoil operated shotgun. Um, and for you new guys, you know, gas operated simply means that it uses the spent gases from the uh, the cartridge to um, to work the action to ex to eject, extract and eject the spent shell and to load a fresh one in the chamber. So where recoil just chucks them out from the recoil of the shotgun. So I personally like the gas operated shotguns myself. It you know the, especially this one. Uh, I recently shot one and let me tell you it's one of the smoothest shooting shotguns I've ever had the privilege of shooting. Uh, very very little recoil even shooting high velocity shells and um, and I'm going to get into the why it's so smooth shooting and and even when shooting the real heavy loads um, this gun's really ingenious how they designed the gas system on it. The gas ports on the shotgun are actually oversized. Before I get ahead of myself, let me go ahead and I'll remove the forearm before I do. As you can see, there's no magazine cap on here. If you've never looked at a Maxis before, you know, you'll know you notice that it looks a little bit different from all the other shotguns. That's because they have the speed lock forearm design. And I'll go ahead and pop that off. So you press this button up top right here. You can see that. And flip that up. Pops right off. Very, very easy to remove the forearm. So, I know some shotguns come in and mag cap is just you got to get soft jaw pliers to get off, get some of those off but not with the browning maxis and before i go down to the gas system let me show you the uh, the mag tube system here uh, or the mag spring the plug that goes in the mag tube is uh is used you can use a car key to unlock it and pull it out and, and put it back in it's very easy to remove and install and it comes with a uh already with a mag plug so we get a lot of guys in here at dust season and last week was our opening uh, week of dust season and we had a lot of guys coming in getting mag plugs they didn't have them the shotguns didn't come with them or they lost them and in some of those are very difficult to get mag to get just to disassemble the magazine uh, magazine tube and get the spring out without you know putting your eye out or shooting follower across the room and then you know you're, you're missing parts and everything else it's just uh, browning they, they they took all that hard work and hassle out of it, so it's really easy to get a plug in and out of the gun. Um, and moving on to the gas system, I mentioned the uh, the reason this one is so it handles heavy heavy loads and light loads very well because of the uh, oversized gas ports. It has 20% larger gas ports, so when you're shooting the big three and a half inch shells, it it gets rid of the excess gas that it doesn't need to work the bolt. So, so that's reducing the recoil and you know not harming the shotgun at the same time so that's that's a very cool feature but also it you you can shoot low brass the way this thing's designed and it has enough gas and a 20 percent longer uh piston stroke to um to kick out those those low brass shells and to cycle them properly because a lot of times we get you know you get three and a half inch guns the biggest problem with some of them is that they don't quite uh they don't quite function well shooting low brass but um, these guns handle them just fine so, so yeah and as you can see it's Cerakoted in the burnt bronze I, I talked about that in the video with the A5 so um, very awesome Cerakote is if you don't know Cerakote's a baked on finish really tough really durable handles you know it's resistant against corrosion rust all that trash so you duck hunters guys getting out there hunting in the real nasty stuff you know this is the shotgun for you this will <laughs> this will take the abuse I promise you but um, let's see here they have the oversized bolt release there uh, it doesn't have the, over the extended bolt handle but it does have the oversized bolt release so it's easy to work if uh, 
you got gloves on and some cold weather and you don't want to, you know you're not having to feel around for that real tiny button on a lot of the shotguns so they put that oversizing on there for for guys hunting in real cold extreme conditions and uh, that's very cool let's see what else am I oh the lightning trigger this has one of the fastest 24% um, faster trigger lock than uh, or the lock times are 24% faster I'm sorry getting ahead of myself so let's see Browning said it is around 0 0.0052 seconds I believe is the lock time which is faster than the leading gas operated shotguns in the industry um, so very fast shooting very smooth shooting very very you know limited felt recoil so I mean it's just a just a great shotgun and a lot of people say well what's the you know what's the what's the trade-off and what's why why would I pick inertia over a, a gas gun some people feel that they can shoot inertia guns a whole lot longer me personally after every heavy shoot or after I shoot my guns I clean them so if you just clean it after every heavy shoot get all that carbon off around the gas pour clean take this spring out of the stock or we offer that service here if you want to bring it to us we will do it um, complete deep thorough clean um, these guns will just keep running and you can count on them time after time every hunt and shoot you go to so so the whole thing that you know a lot of people have the misconception that oh if I get a nursery gun I never have to clean it that's not true I clean them all the time super black eagles um, a5s you know people shoot them shoot them shoot them never clean them I mean all these guns need maintenance so I get I mean that's why I'm addressing this so people think well I'm not if I avoid gas guns I I don't have to you know perform as much maintenance on it and that's just not true but but yeah you might you may you may can shoot a inertia gun a little bit longer than a gas gun I don't know I've never put them to the test because I will clean mine after every heavy shoot but um, so touched on the uh, touched on this the gas system I mean oh and it's also they have the the mag the magazine little shut off switch there and that's one of those things you it's kind of cool to have but you may you may never use it and I think one of the Browning's selling points on that is that so if you're out there uh, hunting ducks and a goose flies over your head or you know you're out and about and you need you got a you got buckshot in your pocket you need something for I don't know self-defense you can shut your magazine tube off it'll stop feeding you know whatever other game loads you had in there you can shuck that other shell out throw a buckshot or a goose load or whatever in there and and you know a <laughs> and go after whatever it is coming at you so so that is that is a feature that you may use you may never use it I, I don't know but it's it's one of those things that um hopefully you don't have to but I don't know I don't know if I'd ever use it but it's it's cool that it's there they just loaded it down with features and and oh and also speaking on the on the uh, recoil here they got the inflex recoil pad um, Man, it, it really saves your shoulders some grief, especially if you're shooting those three and a half inch uh, turkey, duck loads, whatever it is you're hunting. Those things hurt. And this gun will handle them a lot better than leading gas guns or especially recoil operated shotguns. But, well, all right, guys, I think I pretty much covered all the basics. Um, oh, yeah, it comes with the banded chokes. Gives you three, three banded chokes in the box. Really nice extended banded chokes. It also has the, uh, the mid bead and your fiber optic front bead. I really like that, that white mid bead and the red fiber optic. It's probably my favorite sight system, you know, when shooting clays or birds, whatever. I mean, that's, I, I really like that um, over just a standard white bead like they used to come with. But, uh, but yeah, yeah, I think that's about all the, all the jawing I can do about this gun. But really like it. Um, they've, this one does not, this has just the, the bottom land, they, it just kind of has that dry, rough, matte texture on it now instead of the Dura Touch, they've kind of gone away from that. Um, so we still have some guns, some of the Wicked Wings have it, some don't, but uh, this one, I, I really like this honestly better than the, uh, than that, than the Dura Touch. Some people have issues with the Dura Touch, they get oil on it or use solvents to clean it when you're not supposed to it'll kind of get a sticky feel to it. This does not have that, and I, I like it. I would prefer this over that, but the Dura Touch, I get what, the reason for it, and it, it is it does feel good, but you know, if I get oil on the gun, I don't wanna have to worry about being real careful about getting gun oil on part of the stock and, you know, and making it get all sticky, but. All right, guys, 
I think that's about everything I can run my mouth out, run my mouth about today about this shotgun. So I'm gonna wrap it up here. Like always, if you got more questions about the Wicked Wing, I'll include uh, the, our phone number in the description. Like always, and make sure to check out the description because I, I usually, if I forget something, I'll put it in the description like I did in my last video. I forgot something about one of the rifles. and So read the description, check that out, get our phone number. If you got questions, give us a call and uh, or leave us a comment below. And if you like what you see, hit the like button. We sure would appreciate that. Um, all right, guys. Well, we appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time.